Hello everyone, welcome to Kishida Lessons. Today we're showing ways to identify big stubbers and proper fractions. So this there's are easier ways to do this, but eventually this is the best way. There might be some easier ways, I don't think so, but eventually this is the best way to do it to do big stubbers and proper fractions. And this is a little you can actually use some division and some multiplication addition in this. Lesson. So well, this uh, first of all, I'm going to create a uh, an object or shape. So, actually, that's good. So, I'm going to create an object or shape. So, visually, actually, hey, but three shapes. I mean, to have three rectangles inside them. And I'll do the same thing for other ones. Basically. Also to the last one. Okay, we create our shape. So right now. Oh. Right now, I'm going to fill up two other shapes. Two shapes are a uh, whole. This is equal to two one by three. So, basically, how is equal to two one by three? It's because I have two other shapes of fully whole. So measure three by three. Goes to one. Three by three. Equals to one. And this is one by three. And one by three, two and other shapes are filled whole. And then one by three of the shapes is also filled whole. So that's how the third of the, the, the shape is because uh, it's colored in black. So I will just show you. How well so it's actually two one by three is the answer. Basically. Oh, sorry about that. I, this is the answer two one by three. So eventually, we're going to need to convert this into a proper fraction, not just simplify it. Actually, this is is a simplifiably. It's actually it's because it, it would you had also learned how to make the convert a proper fraction to mix uh, the numbers. It's not called mixed fractions, it's called mixed numbers. Uh, so eventually we're going to convert it. So eventually we're going to, I, I'm going to use a, a green pen. Eventually we're going to make these two arrows. You know how to do this. And if I do just about one, then we're going to on the top one and a, the, the multiplication symbol on the bottom one. The one and after doing that, <coughs> so eventually we, we did that. So right now, so eventually the, the, this means multiply. So three times two equals six. So three times two equals to six. And the six plus one, because that's equal to addition, it was a seven. So that's actually equal to <laughs> So uh, make sure you keep the denominator. That's actually this. So eventually this is the numerator. And this is the denominator. So basically, as you can see here, 
Oh, sorry, well, that. So, do, do I, I am going to zoom in a little bit so that you can see here. So, this is the numerator and this is the denominator. So, I should zoom out. So, right now, we're going to get 7 by 3 as an answer to keep the denominator. After that, we can actually do some other things with this. So eventually, one more thing. I have to, so eventually, seven by three. How we got seven by three? So if you divide this again, if you actually you can erase it, hey, this again, and then we will count everything that's whole. And there are one, two, three. Uh, it's uh, it, uh, that third is uh, that sh the rectangle is divided into three rectangles. So eventually, you go to, uh, since there's seven, you could put seven as a numerator, and three. Uh, and, and since there are three here, here we rectangle again for three as a denominator. So let's go back up. Basically. So, please, can I have a little bit of trouble? Okay. Okay. Please, okay. So, okay, and so which was erase everything, and which was to lead to Sarah by three. So eventually, since uh, since we have two more by three here, by three, here we go. Yeah, we go here as our big number, and we have seven by three as a power factor. And we can convert this into this big number. How by doing seven divided by three, and since three times two equals six, so just subtract seven by six with one. And remember what? So eventually, that yeah, now this will become. So, so we're going to put the numerator as the numerator. So the numerator, two, one, and the divisor as the denominator. Uh, yeah, and, and the answer as to the whole number. So we will still get. If you did it correctly, you will have got the two over three. Great. So thank you for uh, so this lesson is by Christian's lessons. So thank you for watching. Bye.